the uh, county proposal to that chair, then we will know how to proceed on the matter, chair. So what's the proposal? Chair, there is the proposal that the, uh, that the number of candidates be amended to eight, uh, um, and to include all, all, all nominations where pers a person was nominated on more than one party, chair. That was seconded by Mr. Mubuyani and supported also now by with Mr. by Mr. Cuthbert in terms of for, for the Democratic Alliance. So currently there's only one proposal on the floor, Chair. Um, so we have to check if there's any accounting proposal, Chair. Mr. Thring. Uh, chair, I'll raise my hand, Chair. No, let, uh, I don't know who. Mr. Thring, Chair. He's oh, no, fine. <laughs> let, let, let's do this, Honorable Thring, before you proceed. Let, let me just say, let's conclude on the issue we referred to earlier, the issue of asking to consult or asking for a caucus. One wanted just to say, as a matter of principle, let's have an agreement that parties do have a right to do so. And I think even the uh, uh, majority party may request in order to consult to be able to be given time during a sitting of a meeting. So I think in a democratic uh, uh, process or space we work in, that, that is actually one of an accepted request. So I'm just saying, let's leave that and then let's actually go back to the point which has actually got us to a, a suggestion is that uh, let's actually hear um, Secretary to say it seems there is actually a proposal. Honorable Mbuyane, Honorable Cuthbert uh, have actually made a proposal. Maybe there should be a, a formal uh, acceptance by the meeting on that. So, Secretary. Just like amendment to the okay. proposal, Chair. Okay. okay, no, let me just do this. Yeah, Honorable Thring, I uh, was going to take you next so that at least uh, we actually can be able to look at uh, what Secretary has picked up with uh, Mboyane uh, Cuthbert. Let's hear Honorable Thring. Uh, Chair, my, my recommendation, a slight amendment, I agree that we, we go with the, um, the list uh, the, of, the, of the top six possibly that are there, uh, which are supported by most of the political parties as the lists have actually been sent in. Um, but in terms of the number, Chair, I would, I would support the recommendation made by uh, Ms., uh, the Honorable Yako. Uh, that we actually include, that we take that up to, to 10 instead of eight. Um, and I do not think that it would be a, a train smash if we include uh, an additional two that have been at least nominated by one political party. Um, and, we, and we take the number. It then basically gives a, a, a broader field uh, with a better selection choice uh, in, in the opinion of the ACDP. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Honorable Yaku. Um, thank you very much, Chair. I think I wanted to reiterate our position as the EFF that 10 would be more inclusive. Okay. 10 does not limit us as a, as a meeting or as a portfolio committee from doing our job. So adding two more people would really not be a train smash. Thank you. Okay. Chair, Mr. Um, Mbuyani, Chair. Okay. Can I just say that the discussion we have is what is the limit of candidates shortlisted for interview? We actually have a agreement of six, and now there's a request to increase six to eight or 10. So I think that's the discussion before us. Uh, you said Honorable Mbuyane raised the hand. And Mr. Cuthbert, Chair. Honorable Cuthbert, after Mbuyane. Chairperson, uh, thank yes. you for the opportunity. Uh, Chair, I think we've agreed on the matter of uh, adding the number to number eight. And uh, we, you always seek a uh, secondment on the matter. Three uh, members seconded on that matter. If then now there's another proposal, we have you have to check as to whether how many seconding the issue of the 10 
and the, 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 the strategy moving forward, how you're going to nominate, because the procedure to nominate the aid was that any you know, candidate that was nominated by two or more, uh, then it falls in the, in the list. Then now, if you extend to 10, because those ones that are nominated by one and there are more than three or four, that means you'll have 11. And now we're suggesting that you must have 10. So what is, what is the criteria to utilize in the process to do that? Then, mm-hmm. the chair, I wanted to... Moyane, you're cutting now. Can't hear you. Moyane? Uh, yeah, chair, person, someone was talking. Moyane? Yes, chair. Yeah, I couldn't hear you. If you can oh. just start again, please, uh, on your motivation. No, oh, okay, Chairperson. Not from the uh, beginning, because the last part uh, you missed out completely. Oh. Oh, okay, my wife, like, uh, we, we seconded the number. We should have taken the number to say how many are saying eight, how many are saying ten. Then we look at how, how we're going to deal that. If the ten then wins, then we look at the criteria to add the number to ten. But already the number to eight is there, is eight. You can check the number, then how uh, I think that will be proper for us to proceed at, on that note, Chair. I'm, I'm not sure okay. I'm audible. Thank you. Chair, before Mr. Yeah. Topic, may, may, may I come in, Chair? Okay, Secretary. Chair, there are, the, there are two proposals currently before the committee. And what the committee needs to do is to make a decision on those two proposals, Chair. The one proposal is for eight candidates to be yeah. nominated as is. And the other proposal is for 10 candidates. Yes. Chair, this okay. is, I don't know if you can yeah. hear me clearly, Chair. Yes, I can. And, Continue. and so the committee then has to make a decision of which of the two um, positions they wish to adopt, Chair, and then we can move forward, Chair. But that's basically what needs to happen. There's two proposals, one to, uh, um, by Ms. Yaku for 10, supported by Mr. Mr. Tring, and then the ones... Uh, um, made by Mrs. Hermans for eight candidates supported by uh, Mr. Mugliani and Mr. Cuthbert. So we have two proposals before the committee and we have to decide uh, 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 which way the committee will go. So we'll have to do it by, by vote chair. Yeah, and uh, maybe the point as well, remember, we agreed to six. Yes, we chair. agreed so to hence, six. The, so yeah, I'm just saying that- The proposal to change that chair. Exactly. So yeah. I think maybe that's a point. We Then there's a request for increase to eight and further increase to 10. And on our, my part as well, I think for the committee, it is a point that there is a process we are going to engage in. And I think the suggestion for six was considering the interviews we are going to have with the candidates, which we shortlist to six, and I think those, that's not a big issue, but at this stage, I think, Secretary, the way you've summarized actually also makes sense to say eight or 10. I think that's a, what is coming out now. Maybe one would actually ask to say, uh, who are the members who agreed on the motion of 10? You see, um, yes. which uh, honorable, Yaku ACDP and Honorable Tring um, uh, have actually proposed, which was ACDP and EFF. So let's actually just check that and see who actually supports that. Let's that then move to the other one of eight, three, Honorable uh, Mbuyane Kadbet. Um, it was seconded uh, by uh, Hermans. So let me just check uh, first on the 10, Honorable Tring and Yaku. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, Secretary. If we're going to start voting, Chair, then I'll call the names for, for, of, of members to, to, to indicate their votes so we can record it, Chair. The, okay. the proposal before the committee for consideration is that 10 candidates be, be shortlisted, Chair. Those in favor, I'll call the names, Mrs. Hermans. Or you want them to 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 raise? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let 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 me just check uh, then. Uh, honorable honor, Honorable Hammonds. No. Uh, we're just starting the, the 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 procedure to say those who say ten, 
or you wanted to make another comment before we proceed? No, Chair, I'm voting. I'm <laughs> saying against 10. No, those, no we, 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 those who want 10 candidates to be shortlisted, can we have them raising their hands so that we can confirm? Chair, I will call Chair, the names of the chairs. Chair, yeah. I want to propose another pr procedure. People have their hands up to say other things also. So I so, want so to propose that you deal with the, with the second proposal for 10 for shortlisting and then go through the list of members present in this meeting yes. so that they cast their vote for or against that, mo that proposal. Well, I thought that's what we're doing exactly, but as a secretariat, those who raise their hands or those who can raise them uh, virtually, Chair, they actually will, tell us. Yes, secretariat? Chair, I will call the names of members and, they, and we will call their vote, Chair. So I've called okay. Mrs. Herman's Chair and she's in Oh, you called him? Okay, so uh, we are speaking to 10. You are actually calling the names. Yes, we will start okay. now. Mrs. Herman's again. Against? Um, Ms. Mutahun. Against. Ms. Muatse. I'm against 10. Ms. Kama Mr. Kamashe. Uh, I'm against. Mr. McPherson. Mr. McPherson. I'll, I'll, he will probably um, um, what's up? He put it in the chat, um, Andre. Okay, no problem. Let me just check in the chat. He's against, Chair. Okay. Ms. Ms. Yaku? I'm definitely for, Chair. Okay. And Mr. Mulder, Chair? Uh, against, Chair. Okay. Mr. Thring, Chair? For. Okay. Ms. Ms. Mr. Mumbiani, Chair. Chairperson, I'm against the test. Okay. Mr. Cuthbert, Chair. I'm against that proposal. Chair, and obviously yourself, Chair, if you wish to vote. Okay. Um, let's then proceed to the next one. Um, the next one, Chair, is for the candidates of eight. I mean, it's, it's uh, let's just do that process as well, Chair. Those yeah. in favor of eight, Chair? Mrs. Hermes? Yes. In favor. Ms. Mutahun? In favor. Ms. Muatse? In favor. Mr. Kamashe? In favor. Mr. McPherson? Was, uh, would be in favor, I would in favor, is, 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 is on the chat. Ms. Ms. Yaku? Uh, definitely against, Chair. Mr. Mulder? In favor, Chair. Mr. Thring? Uh, Chair, I would abstain on this. Abstain. Mr. Mbiani? In favor, Chair. Mr. Cuthbert? I'm in favor of this proposal, Chair. Chair, the outcome of the of the votes are that the majority members are in favour of shortlisting only eight candidates, and against shortlisting of 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 the of ten candidates. So the eight candidates um, is the decision that the committee has taken that eight candidates will be shortlisted, chair, and 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 not ten. And we have eight um, hands in favour of um, of that chair and. One against and one abstention, Chair. And if we count your voting, it will be nine. Thanks, Chair. Okay. So, which means, and then event, uh, uh, finally, it means the six, six candidates agreed has been changed. To eight the years. The committee has now changed their decision of six shortlisted to eight shortlisted. Yes, so, is that the understanding? That's correct, Chair. Mr. Okay. Cuthbert, hand is up, Mr. Chair. Oh, okay. Cuthbert? Thanks, Chair. And also just to add to Andre is that it's the eight candidates that have multi-party support. Yes, correct. I was just going to say that, Chair. Yeah, um, just so that we clarify. So it's not us appointing a new eight candidates, but rather it's those eight that were at the top of the list where, yes. there, were multi where there was multi-party support. 
Chair, I will I will yeah. I will read out the names, Chair, just to confirm those eight, Chair, if I may. Yeah, Let, let's yes, yes, uh, uh, Secretariat. The eight candidates that the committee agreed to shortlist, Chair, are the following: Mr. Um, Terry Salani, Dr. Petiana, Ms. Beryl Ferguson, Mr. Guglietto Shaba Kava, Ms. Dr. Madzi Van Dila, um, Reverend Frank Chikani, Mr. Tikanji, and Mr. Tlamini, Chair. Okay. Those no, are the nominees that the committee agreed that will be shortlisted, and those are the candidates that we uh, 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 that the committee agreed to be shortlisted to be interviewed on the day on the 9th of March. Okay. I, I, th I think that's actually quite uh, helpful. So I think it's a point where one would just say in the conclusion of the meeting, um, you might find that at least in the discussion, if we look at uh, parties, if ever it's actually the parties agree, there's actually one disagreement and one abstention. So I think it's quite an important uh, uh, kind of results to reflect because we are a democracy. But I think a, a matter of principle in terms of actually um, having a multi party support, it's actually quite important to note as well. But I think uh, it's not a point that we uh, put in criteria because the conditions might differ in some of the engagement and discussion to get this to this kind of decisions. So for now, let's actually agree that the committee agreed to the eight candidates. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, shortlisting, they actually agreeing to eight. And in terms of uh, the process we are in, in formal uh, uh, consideration uh, of candidates, we have a list of eight. So I think for the decision which we need to get to of shortlisting of candidates from the, for the NLC chairperson post, I'm not sure if ever there's any further issue because on our part, discussion we had day before yesterday and today is to actually make sure that we have a short list uh, of those candidates nominated to be actually uh, going through the process of the interview in seeking to conclude someone who will be able to uh, take the post of the chairperson of the NRC. Uh, Secretary, let me just check if ever there's any issue we may have to delve with, which actually helps Chair? conclude the decision of the shortlisting. Chair, the decision has been taken. The, that process has been concluded, Chair. Chair, if I may, in, in response to Ms. Yaku, just take the committee through the process that we will undertake now to ensure that the candidates arrive for the interviews on the 9th of, of March, Chair. Um, if I may do that, Chair. Okay, so let, let's actually then go back. You're right, uh, Honorable Yako raised the point. I think uh, let's get you taking us through, uh, Secretariat. No problem, Chair. Chair, that, that we've concluded the decision um, of shortlisting. So the committee has decided that eight candidates will be nominated, will be shortlisted to be interviewed, Chair. That concluded today on the 26th of February. Now <coughs> the administrative process kicks in, Chair, where the Secretariat will, will make contact with these candidates to determine whether they accept the nomination chair. And once they accept the nomination, we make the necess necessary logistical arrangements for the short list of candidates to attend. Chair, I think in the, last, in the, in the meetings last year, we agreed that it will be in-person uh, um, interviews, Chair. So that date for the interviews has been scheduled. Chair, now we'll also finalize the screening of, of the verification of the qualifications and the security check for the nominated candidates chair and hopefully before the for before the interviews we will be, communicate that information to members 
what will also happen, Chair, just to make sure that we will place the CV names and CVs of the short can list of candidates on the parliamentary social media sites, calling for public comments on their nominations, Chair, and we will inform members of, of the outcome of that. Chair, then the interview process before the interviews, Secretariat will prepare the uh, draft qu interviewing questionnaires and, and that, which we will then present to the committee on the 9th of March in a closed session for the committee to consider those questions. And the committee is entitled to change the questions uh, um, um, in that session. And then the interviews will be, because we have eight candidates, Chair, the interview session will probably be for the full day of the, of the 9th of March. And I know Mrs. Hermans has uh, indicated earlier that there is a, sit a sitting. We have the right to request that the committee be excused from that sitting that afternoon. So we will make that application to the House Chairperson and to the Chief Whip. For, for, for his and, and her approval that the committee are allowed to, to not to attend the, 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 the plenary that afternoon because we are busy with the interviews chair. Once that process is completed chair, the meet, committee will meet uh, um, the next day to deliberate on that matter chair and then conclude and decide on the candidate they wish to make to, to recommend for consideration to the House. That day can either be on the 10th or the 16th of March, Chair. And once that is completed, Chair, we will then ATC the report as adopted by the committee for the House consideration. And then the House will schedule that report for its consideration. And I think the program committee will then schedule that. That is the process that will unfold going forward now. There's, uh, what will happen is also we'll, we'll have to make, because it is logistical arrangements, because many of the candidates is coming from Gauteng, some from Durban, some is Western Cape, some from the, from the Eastern Cape chair. So the ge geographical, ge geographical spread is Gauteng, KZN, Port Elizabeth, and the Western Cape. And so we'll have to ensure that the, the candidates are... Uh, um, are to, uh, we make the necessary arrangement for candidates to, to be in Cape Town on the 9th of March for the in-person interview. And we we'll obviously do the other necessary logistical arrangements for the day in terms of lunches and dinners if it goes beyond six o'clock, Chair. That is the process that will unfold from now onwards, Chair. We will then also make two applications, a political application as well as the financial application, which will, which will um, deal with the travel, with the logistical arrangements, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Secretary. Chair, I was Can asked I... To, to pronounce the new PE name, and I, I will have difficulty to do that. <laughs> no, I, I understand. Um, that's why I was just saying, um, Honorable Benz Namashe, I'm <laughs> sure you have had a bit of, you know, bumping against the wall. If someone's saying, Amashe, please be, you know, tolerant, because I, don't, I think it may not be deliberate, but I know there are a few, uh, you know, surnames which are actually not very easy for, for different people to pronounce. But, Amashe, my velagim, Kulungile, when Herman's saying, Amashe, they must, yeah, pronounce, they must pronounce them. <laughs> Namashe. They must pronounce them. Namashe. Well, Namashe. <laughs> Namashe. No, no, they'll, they'll practice. Uh, they will definitely <laughs> practice. Uh, Honorable Yako, uh, I would like to revert, revert back to you. Remember in the questions you raised earlier, and I did say in the uh, process, uh, um, you know, clarification, Maybe your question will be covered. I'm not sure. Can I invite you just to check if ever your earlier point you raised was covered? And um, can I just yeah. say, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, cool. yeah, I am covered. I'm sorry, I'm on the road. Uh, I am covered by the fact that uh, the, the, the top eight will be decided as per the voting of the parties. Um, secondly, um, I am fine with the dates that we have and how the procedure is going to happen. Um, thirdly, I would like the Secretary to send us a document of how the procedure is going to happen from here onwards um, and send us via email. Then that will make our lives easier as, it, as, as then we can map out a way as to moving forward. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can, can I just say, say before you go, um, 
um, the program adopted by the committee covers all the processes we are going to engage in. So it's just a point like now, we're just explaining the detail. 9 of March will be a very important date relating to the interview of the shortlisted candidate. So I think the detail on how that day works, and I think further there was actually the point raised to say they might be sitting of parliament, and I think there are more administrative and management issues we'll be de dealing with outside the committee. But at this stage, 9th March is the day then I'm sure you will get communication, but uh, on the interview day, it will be 9 of March for all eight candidates we have on the list. So I think maybe that's a point we may have to look at. Can I check with honorable members? Because this was a question earlier. In the adopted program, all these issues are covered. So we can be able to actually ask you to go through that, but 9 of March becomes quite an important issue. So I think for Secretariat, they've actually talking a lot about in, in person, in person. I think that's another point, but I think we can actually sort out the details. Let me hear if ever there's any further questions for clarity and okay. or comments. Chair, Mrs. Hermans yes. and Mr. Tring, Chair. Honorable Hammonds. Thank you, Chair. I think what Ms. Yaku is speaking about uh, is the document that uh, Andre just tabled. Can that be sent to us? Because yes. it gives us the administrative uh, process also, um, including what is on the program. Um, if that can be emailed. And then I think um, we must just ask Ms. Yaku uh, or um, Honorable Burns Namashe to, to tell us and spell for us the way the new name for Port Elizabeth must be <laughs> uh, pronounced. Okay, no, let me just say uh, that one we'll do on the side during tea time and lunch. <laughs> it will work out better, I'm sure. Uh, Honorable Hammonds. Uh, can, can we then proceed and check if ever there are any further issues, Honorable Members? Uh, on this specific category. Okay. All right. <laughs> Please don't yeah. don't pronounce that that name uh, because uh, even on my part when we are changing the name of the airport, they say people can't pronounce O R Tambo. But in some <laughs> cases, the more you work on it, it does actually work out. No, we will we will adjust. We'll get to that. Please don't fight with us. So can I check uh, if ever there are any further issues, Secretariat, in terms of the administrative issues and management issues, or questions for clarity from members? Members, are there any Chair. further comments or clarities? Mr. Thring, Chair. Think... Honorable Thring. Yes, uh, Chair, thank you. No, I, I uh, support the recommendation, I think, that comes from uh, uh, Ms. Honorable uh, Yako as well as Hermans. Um, with regards to sending us the, the procedure going forward, it will come from the uh, Office of the, the Secretariat of the Committee. Uh, but if I could also request for the eight candidates, and I know that the CVs were submitted, but if, um, if Honorable Hermans or if uh, Mr. Hermans could, uh, mm -hmm. Andre could actually send it through, uh, through to me, Herman could actually send it through to me as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. Okay. And um, are there any further no further hands, Chair, or any no comments from us, Chair? Okay. Can we propose closure, Chairperson? <laughs> um, no, no, then I will ask that. Is there any seconder? Seconded. <laughs> <laughs> is there any objection? In the absence of any objection, <laughs> no. And having a mover and a seconder, I think as a chair, I should agree that we close the meeting. That's what Cuthbert said, because can we close the meeting? So which means mover and seconder. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's first of, its, uh, of most of our meetings where members really say, we move and second that you close the meeting. So the meeting will be closed. So, but in proper terms, our meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.
comrade Yaku. Uh, sorry, Yaku. Honorable Yaku, just tell us the name. It's Bebeha and it's Mamashe. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I don't have a problem. Yeah. That, 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 Bebeha. That is not on record eh, for the portfolio. <laughs> you Please don't put it on the record, Secretariat. That's off the record. Off record. <laughs> He's a the training yeah. session is off record, Chair. Yeah, it's off the record. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Thanks.